hello gents. Thank you for tuning in to Palm Springs, Cindy. I Let's see, today is a Wednesday morning and I am on my way to go play bridge. So I got up this morning and uh, got dressed, but this is what I wanna ask you guys. Last, now this is pretty typical for me. I'm, and I guess I'm just curious if it happens to anybody else. So last night I, um, you know, I went to bed. I don't even remember. It must have been a decent time. Like let's say 11 o'clock. Fell right to sleep. Hallelujah. Because that does not happen to me very often. But then I woke up. About, I woke up a couple times but was able to fall back to sleep. Then I woke up about 3.30-ish. And I, I really was not able to go back to sleep. So I, you know, I got up, I kind of had a stomach ache. So I got up and I, I like sat up, came out to the living room, turned on TV. Shelby got up on the couch with me. Um, I fixed some steel cut oatmeal and added a little yogurt to it, thinking that might settle my stomach. And then, um, and it did. So then I, you know, I got back on the couch and I, I knew like I was starting to fall asleep again. So I thought, get back to bed. So I went back to bed and I think I got my deepest, best sleep from like, <laughs> from like 4.30 till 9.30. And then I got up and fixed coffee and watched the news, watched TV a tiny bit, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But I, then I had to get dressed to, to go to bridge. So I'm, I've got like 10 minutes to spare. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna check in with my YouTube friends. And I also wanna say thank you guys so much. Um, your response to my lamp was adorable. And so many of you guys already do the lamp thing and I was pleasantly surprised. I think, um, is it just our generation? Our, it's, a, it's a boomer generation thing that many of you mentioned that your mothers also had lamps in, in conspicuous places around the house. So I, you know, I don't know if it's something we're used to seeing or not. Um, I do know that like somebody asked about where did I get my lamp or whatever and Home Goods, of course, but Home Goods has lots of lamps and they're like 19.99, some of them less. And there's, I mean, that's what I paid for my little crystal lamp. And so, you know, when, when we think of those lamps as being, uh, you know, a, a sign of home, hominess, comfort, um, there's so many cute ones to choose from that it's hard, it's almost hard not to, not to have a little lamp around the house. <laughs> so, um, okay, very windy last night. I have leaves everywhere, but it's still windy. I, it looks like it's gonna settle down. Sometimes when the sun comes out, and like it's it's gonna be 12 o'clock noon pretty soon, but when the sun comes out, the, the heat ratio or whatever um, s settles the wind down. So I was glad about that. And two things, number one, I heard, I think I mentioned to you about my tree, that tree that's growing on the other side of my wall. You know, I never know, and I think we've talked about this before with my bushes at my other house that were so high that <coughs> you couldn't that that we lost our mountain view. Well, okay, so the tree is on the other side of the wall, but its limbs and branches that are bothering me are hanging on my side of the wall quite heavily. The branches are too thick. I mean, they're like big tree branches. I can't cut those. I would need a saw. And you know, I don't have a saw. So that's why I reached out. I wrote, a, well, actually the um, landscape community, the landscape uh, people here at, at Trilogy emailed me as well as all the other homeowners to say when tree trimming would begin again. And then I wrote them back and said, you know, by the way, I've got this one tree. I don't know what to do with it. So they wrote me back. <laughs> They wrote me back and said, well, if it's a, if it's a, um, I forget which kind of tree, if it's a, this kind of a tree, you know, then uh, we should take care of it. But if it's that kind of a tree, you know, I don't, I don't really get the logic with that. But anyway, I, they will come over. They said they'll come over and take a look at it, which I'm glad because, you know, the branches may be on my side of the wall, but once again, they're so hardy and so heavy that I can't 
even if it's my responsibility to take care of them, I'm hoping that, you know, because I pay for that service every month due to the HOA, that they would come and trim those branches for me. We'll see. And um, let's see, something else. I got the branch, the tree thing. Oh, and I also heard from a consignment store. I sent pictures of this, like this white swivel chair that I'm sitting in. I took pictures of that white hand carved headboard, my two lamps from my guest bedroom that were floor, you know, floor lamps. Uh, I took pictures of a couple other things and I sent them to the consignment store, a popular one here in town. And she wrote me right back. The next morning I had an email that said that they would be happy to consign, uh, to sell my furniture objects or wares. And they take 13%. And it's my responsibility to get the furniture there between 10 and three. Okay, and then they said, if, if I'm having trouble with that, that they will, uh, they get, they provided me a phone number of people they use that will come pick my stuff up and take it to the consignment store, which I'm gonna have to use because I can't, you know, how else am I gonna deal with these big chairs? So I wrote her back. <laughs> I wrote her back and said, as soon as I can replace these swivel chairs, I will, you know, I'll get this furniture to you. It's a place called Misty's uh, in Palm, in Rancho Mirage, I think. In the meantime, what do you guys think about this? You know, I want to replace these white chairs with swivel recliners. And I, but they have to be small. And they have to have the same basic look as these chairs, as this chair I'm sitting on, meaning a square armrest, not the big round club chair uh, design for the armrest. And so I found on, um, on Pottery Barn for kids, there are, there's a line out for nurseries, rock, swivel recliners for nurseries, babies' nurseries. And they're, they're a little bit smaller than the ones that you would buy for a living room, like a big leather swivel recliner. And they're, they are a bit smaller. And so, and they look exactly the same as the regular ones you buy for your living room. And they do come in different, in plenty of different fabrics. So I'm thinking about, you know, I'm gonna really take a good look at the measurements because of course it's gonna be mailed to me. And then I'm gonna go to a, a couple furniture stores here in town and take a look and see what their, see what their, uh, if they even have recliners, swivel recliners. Swiv you can either buy a, find a swivel chair or you can find a recliner chair. Swivel recliners are hard to find and they're not as cute or as attractive as just regular, you know, regular chairs, even regular recliners. The swivel chairs, you know, we have that disadvantage of that swivel bar on the bottom. These chairs were custom made to hide that, and but they're just too uncomfortable. And I'm not using them. So, and I wanna be able to use, you know, I don't have a lot of places to plop to watch TV. So I want these chairs to be usable, functional, and comfortable. Okay, you guys, gotta go, gonna go play bridge. And then after that, I'm meeting a friend for happy hour up at the clubhouse. So I've got a long day ahead of me. I did finish my nails. Although this one popped off while I was doing blow drying my hair. So, and I need to get my nails done. Not just these little glue on nails, but they do the trick for a while. Okay. All right, you guys, this is just a quick hello, a quick uh, touching base to let you know what's going on in my life today. P hello, you guys. Hello again. I am, as you can see, I'm in the car on my way to my friend's house <sighs> and um, I got to thinking about this when one of the gals said something on a comment and I cracked up so cute and it's true and that's what I want to talk about I don't like I don't know how this is just one way I can explain it because the older I get the older you get and that's what we're talking about, aging in a world that values youth. What's it like for us that, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly? Okay, so 
the other day, I was, or yesterday, I was talking to you guys, or a little while ago, I was talking to you guys about my energy, my energy level. Actually, it was yesterday's video. And I do have my seatbelt on, you guys. I just have it kind of cocked under my arm. And so, uh, my, okay, back to my energy level. So my energy level, I'm going to describe it in terms of coins. <laughs> Done once before. But, uh, you know, when I think about it, like in the morning when I wake up, depending on how I sleep, I, you know, I've got, I think of it like those little coin things that people would wear around their waist and like go, shh, shh, and so many nickels would come out, shh, shh, so many dots, like a coin dispenser that you'd wear around your waist. Okay. So let's say I wake up in the morning and that's like my brain. My brain is filled with coins, ready to start the day. Only some coins have been taken out already because I, let's say if I didn't sleep well, then I'm all. Then I already wake up deficient of coins. Coin deficient. Coin deficiencies. So, um, my eyes are watering because I'm too. Uh, I'm still half. I'm not half asleep, but I'm still sleeping. Okay. Then I get up. Like I have so many coins to do housework. And let's say I have 15 housework coins. And, and I, you know, maybe I mop the floor, maybe I vacuum, maybe I dust, whatever, scour, clean the bathroom, whatever, do, do laundry. I get those, when those coins are depleted, I can, I cannot do any more housework. I have no more coins. I'm exhausted. I have, you know, it ain't going away. It'll be there for the next day when I have 15 more coins. Okay. If I, uh, I have a slot, so many coins for running errands maybe going to my credit union, maybe going to the grocery store, maybe getting stamps, maybe going to, you know, I, I'll call running errands, even window shopping or going to Best Buy or going to um, the hardware store to pick something up. You know, it's running errands, running to the dollar store to get plastic bags for sandwiches or whatever. Well, I may have 15 coins for that, but that uses a lot of energy. So when my 15 coins are done, I've got to get home, and in fact, I'll even be shopping, and I'll be standing like in the in the aisle, waiting, you know, looking for something, preparing prices, whatever, and and like the sense of the overwhelming exhaustion or tiredness. I don't know if exhaustion is the right word, but this sense of tiredness will come over me, and I and I have to say to myself, you know, you've only got a few coins, Cindy. You only have a few coins left to do your uh, errand running. So figure out what you're going to buy and get out because the lines are long for checkout. It's going to take you a while. You're not going to be able to stop at the grocery store like you wanted to because you're out of coins. Just get home. So I do. So I guess what I'm saying is, you know, when I look at getting older, um, and the and, and energy levels, energy levels to function, and that if I'm zapped from coins, I have no more coins. Like last weekend when I had a visitor, and you know that wiped me out. I was I was on the couch for two days because I had to replenish my all of my coins, and in order to you know get back on my feet, so to speak. Now, when I have people over that are younger than I am like my friend Annie and, and that generation, I I notice, and I'm wondering, do you guys notice that they have a lot more energy than I have? When I'm ready to kind of sit down, they're still up and going. They're up and running, you know. There's, they Like Annie can read me and she'll like think to herself, I've, um, you know, Cindy's kid, or I'll say, I'm pooped at, you know, you guys have to clean up the kitchen. You guys have to put away the food or whatever. And um, and they do. So I do notice, you know, and even some of the gals maybe have worked all day and then they come over for, you know, a little happy hour or a little get together, fellowship party, whatever. And so I think, you know, they've, they've worked all day and now they're here. So, you know, I notice that I don't have the energy levels that younger women do. 
and even my daughter, you know, my daughter who's 41, I mean, she's got all kinds of energy. And teaching is a very high energy job. You spend a lot of coins when you are a teacher. So, well, you can imagine, you know, dealing with all those kids. Okay, I'm going this way, don't run into me. And so anyway, just, I had to, I had to think out loud about this coin process. And that's sort of like how I visualize. It's like I have to come up with a way to discuss my loss of energy. Plus, I know, I know that when I exercise, I have more energy, of course. But sometimes I don't get into that pool until like three or four. And if I swim for an hour, you know, I mean, I'm going home and I'm, my body's cooled down. So I'm going home and, and that's the end of my day. So there you go. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Hello again. This is the very end of our day. I did play bridge this afternoon and I had some good cards. So it was kind of a fun day. Uh, the lady who hosted bridge fixed a wonderful, those little tiny, uh, uh, I'm going to say dinner rolls filled with chicken salad and then she had another wonderful fresh green salad and fresh plate of potato chips. So it was a wonderful lunch. So we had lunch, then we played cards and we got there about 1230, maybe 1245 and then uh, played cards. And then around four o'clock, the game was over. We helped clean up and we left. Well, then um, I got home and I tried to clean up a little bit, you know, and play with Shelby a bit, fed her, made sure she had water. And then I left to go up to the clubhouse to meet a friend of mine named Fran. Hi, hi, Fran. <laughs> and some other people. I did take video of our table and of our time together. And some people were not really crazy about being put on YouTube. So I said I would either block them out or blur their face if I can figure out how to do that. kind of nice it was very nice it was it was very windy but where we were sitting it was sort of in a little alcove so we were pretty much protected by the wind although I did have to walk back to my car and get my jacket and that's okay too okay so I just got home and I I had I went to my mailbox because I had a bunch of packages well then when I got actually home I had a I had a box, a package from Amazon in the front on my by my front door. <laughs> Look what I got, you guys. So jazz. This is something that I said I would I wanted and I would review. I have not had a chance to use it because I just got it this afternoon, but you'll I'm gonna share you. This is a miniature refrigerator. And it opens just like a real refrigerator. <laughs> let's see, let's see here. And uh, I'm gonna tell you why I agreed to this and why I want it. Look at this, how cute is that? I am, during the summer in Palm Springs area, it gets very, very hot. 
And so I plan on putting my makeup in this miniature refrigerator and I can even keep this in my car and as I'm driving around and if I want to fluff up and fix my makeup, I could not normally carry eyeliner or lipstick with me in the car because the heat of the car will make my makeup actually melt, turn into like, turn into a liquid. <laughs> so, so when I, when I was asked to, um, review this Ferrari's refrig mini refrigerator, I was, I was delighted because I thought, you know, I've kind of wanted to buy one of these. So now I'm going to have a chance to try one out to see if it keeps my makeup cool, to see if it, it keeps my lipstick in particular, um, you know, in a tube or not just running and hot from its, uh, its container. So anyway, I just showed you that, uh, you know, a quick little uh, picture of the refrigerator, but there is a plug to it. I'm gonna plug it in, I'm gonna try it out. So I'm excited for that. Okay, along that line, I remember I told you guys I got Shelby. I've been really looking for something for her that's a healthy dog chew, and that I went on, I Googled, I went on Amazon, and I found those fish skins that are dried and rolled up. And anyway, I bought them for her. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're sick. But she loves them. But in addition to that, I bought these. And these just arrived today. And she also loves these. Turkey tenderloin strip. So this is what they look like. Whoops, I just pulled to it. So for a little dog, this, these are perfect and they're, you know, they're not harmful and they're natural, they're fresh and they're a dog treat and they're a dog chew. So I gave her one of these so far and she loves it. Now I want to show you two things on my computer. One item is something I'm, con I'm considering to put on this big uh, entry wall the focus wall here that I have painted blue. I need some kind of really eye-catching art, but I can't spend a fortune. I already did buy that one canvas painting, but it did not work out. So I'm gonna use it for another spot in my house. But in the meantime, I wanna share with you two things. Number one is this other piece of artwork that I have discovered on Etsy that I wanna purchase for this wall. I keep pointing over here and I'll, I'll put the camera to show you that uh, the wall that when you walk right into my house, it's <laughs> the wall is right there. So um, I want you to see, I wanna I want see what you guys think about it. Then I wanna show you uh, a uh, swivel recliner chair from Pottery Barn. And, and it's from the uh, children's kids Pottery Barn menu, so to speak. So I want, I want, I want to get your um, impression on that because, I, like I said, I did get an okay from the consignment store that they're ready and eager to sell my chairs and the other things that I sent them pictures for. So I don't want to get rid of anything until I receive my new stuff. So here is my, um, let's see here. What does that do? I'm going to turn you around and show you what I've got on my computer. Hold on. Take a look at this art piece. Now, as you can see, it's on a rod. The rod is long enough that it has three bolts. And these pieces are tied to the top bolt. Now take a look at these pieces. What these are, these are ceramic discs. Just little ceramic discs. See how they each have a hole in them where the string is put through. Now each ceramic disc on this particular art piece there are a couple colors going on. There's an ash color, there's a like a vanilla or off-white color. Now, I like the contrast of this of these discs. In other words, I don't know that I would get all white 
Hey, let me show you some more pictures of these. Because this is what I'm, th look how gorgeous that is. It takes up the entire wall, which I love. Let's see what else I can show you here. Not that one, whoops. Let's see if there's another, ooh, 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 ooh. not that one. These are what the discs look like. And um, see, those are all the same color. Oh, this is the, I love this one. Look at that. So it definitely needs a large space. And I have a large space right there, that whole wall. Okay, so that's something I'm looking at to purchase for that, for my entry wall. Look at that pretty side view. Love. Okay, now I am going to share with you my Pottery Barn Kids. Pottery Barn Kids. And I wanna show you the uh, chair. Pottery Barn Kids. Let's see what this does. Come on. Come on, come on, Pottery Barn Kids, that's totally not it. Let's see, I'm gonna go up here. Pottery Barn Kids Chairs. Let's go with that, see what happens. Okay, here comes some. See, I, I want to share with you to see if what you think about the size and the style. Okay, we're getting close, getting close. Those are obviously ch the children's chairs. But I want, look at how cute that little ruffled one is. Oh, love. Whoops, okay, let's see here. Now these are adult. All right, let's see. I have to go up here. Hang in there with me, you guys. Furniture, ba ba ba, nursery furniture. Let's try up here. Cribs changing, uh, best selling, featured. Holy moly. Okay, let me just type it in. I'm going to do swivel. Recliner. See what happens. It's thinking. All right, now I'm thinking this one is on sale. It comes in all the right colors. This one, I like, to see how the arms are square here? That's what I need. And here, now that, I believe that is that, okay, this is Phoenix. This is Paxton. Now, uh, they're both swivel recliner. All three of these are swivel recliners. This one is the least expensive because it's on sale. Let's see what else. I'm, I like those and they come in every color you could think of. But see how this has the round? I have to stay away from the round. Oh, and here's a, oh, but this has the wing. I don't, I don't really like that wing thing. But maybe, maybe it's not so bad. Okay, let's see what else. What's thinking? Well, wow, okay. These, okay, here's another one. But would that be too small? 
Well, it can't be too small. There I am. So anyway, I'm looking at the swivel recliners at Pottery Barn Kids, mostly because they have uh, great fabric swatches that they will that they will help us with. All righty, let's see here. Let's see if I can. So I was able to share with you that piece of art that I'm looking for for the wall, my entry wall. I think it's unique and it's not out of this world expensive. I mean, it's not inexpensive, but it's affordable. Then, um, you know, I'm still looking. I really want to get the a swivel recliner, two chairs for my living room so that I can be comfortable, my guests can be comfortable while we sit and watch TV. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, I've got a lot of video to splice together. But P.S. I love you guys. And until our next conversation.